course, when we talk about trust, uh, we talk about cybersecurity, but uh, I don't want to go in there. What I want to mention also is the uh, question of e-identification and uh, e-signatures. Again, um, what I see on the European level is that we have very different systems. And of course, the problem is that every member state thinks that their system is the best, and therefore we don't have uh, the overall um, system for, for everybody in Europe. Uh, and now coming back to the more mobility and mentality revolution, then it doesn't really match because, because we have free movement of people and the people want to use the services wherever they are and, and they want to have the same means of uh, identification. So, so I think this is a place definitely where, where your opinion has to act. Um, Yes, uh, also about digital skills, I think this is also very important uh, uh, for you to understand that um, uh, when we have these uh, new ways of transferring money and everything, it's, it's mostly about uh, or mostly for uh, younger people, but uh, there are also elderly people who, who want to have access to their money and everything. We have discussions in Estonia that uh, uh, money should be abolished at all, that you can only use electronic money because actually it reduces, uh, it reduces uh, all the um, uh, tax uh, breaches of tax laws because if everything is digital, you can't really, uh, you can't really uh, hide, your, hide your income. Uh, and just a side comment I give this is uh, that when Uber came to Estonia, then our tax board immediately did their platform that uh, they can immediately send all the information about the rides to also to the tax board. So there's no issue about the taxation. Uh, but, but also digital skills when we talk about elderly uh, and we talk about people who are left behind. And one uh, last topic that I wanted to mention um, regarding banks and the digital revolution uh, is that there are two uh, um, elements where banks have a key role to play in the digital revolution. One is access to capital. Uh, access of capital, so um, all uh, what the new startups and new businesses uh, talk about, uh, the first thing that they mention, uh, what is the hindrance uh, of, of uh, them scaling up and, and coming to the market? The first thing is access to capital, uh, that they can't really uh, get uh, uh, funding uh, in Europe that easily that uh, they can do, for example, in the United States. And the other issue, which is a very valid point as well, but uh, uh, so far, uh, is that um, uh, when uh, some startups are, for, uh, for example, creating uh, new apps to come to the market, and then when you ask, okay, but uh, why don't you go to the Indian market, there's a, a billion people there, and then uh, they say that yes, okay, but uh, then the first question is, uh, uh, how many of those have uh, telephones, how many of those have internet connection, and how many of those people uh, have smartphones and then uh, the last question is how many of those people actually have credit cards and then you are down to the size of Poland so so basically uh, uh, this is also a place uh, where um, where banks at least at the moment have a role but as we see this is changing so uh, I just wish you that uh, you would em embrace the changes and not uh, try to fight what is already inevitable thank you Thank you very much. Thank you very much.